Hey Ross World, my money makes money. DCA, dollar cost averaging. What is it really all about? So dollar cost averaging is a way for you to buy a lot of stocks and diversify your portfolio without beating or going over your bottom line. So take for instance, you have two or three hundred dollars that you want to invest every month or maybe every week or even every quarter. It doesn't matter. It's based upon what you can basically afford on your budget. You take a set of number amount of stocks and this is another thing. You can have two types of portfolios that you actually set even with Robinhood or any other investment app. You take that amount and you buy stocks every month or whenever you choose to, but we'll go for a month. So every month you're going to allocate $200 to buy particular stocks, certain stock that you picked out that you want to accumulate in, whether it be stocks as high in dividends or stocks with the potential of growth. So over the course of time, dollar cost averaging is really trying to equal out the price or the cost. And over time, it is meant for you to have the highest return while not going above what the market has projected. Now, day traders, this is definitely not for you and you know it because day traders, what do they try to do? They either try to time the market or beat the market, which is really, really hard without insider information, okay? But dollar cost average is a great way. Like say for instance, you wanted to buy a bunch of Ford stocks or you want to buy a bunch of Apple stocks. You would basically look at the price, okay? And you will allocate how many you're going to buy one every month or two every month. And it's meant for you to continue to buy those stocks. Now, if Apple goes down, chances are you can buy more Apple at that lower price. But if Apple goes up, you may only buy one. So you may buy 10% of your stocks at a certain part of the wavelength. In the wavelength, I'm actually talking about, you know, how they show stocks going up and down. I call it the EKG too. None of these are actually scripted in the investing world. That's just my terminology, okay? But a lot of people like to look at the trend of the stocks, even with dollar cost averaging to see, okay, well, during the early part of the quarter, the stock spiked, maybe because Apple came out with you know, more information or innovation technologies or another device like the iPhone 10. And Ford, maybe they price dropped because they had certain recalls, like they had two recalls within the last month. So people will buy more stocks. I'm like, okay, this time I'm gonna buy four or five Ford stocks because last time I only could buy two because Ford stocks were around $13, $14. Now they're down to $12 and $11. So that extra money that you have, you may be able to buy one or two more stocks than you did prior to. So dollar cost average is a great way to first and foremost, take the emotion out of your investing of buying certain stocks. Because you're like, oh no, Ford is not doing so well, so I'm not gonna buy stocks. Now first and foremost, is it a solid investment? Ford, I believe so, my opinion, I believe so. First and foremost, they have great potential of growth and secondly, have really, really great dividends. Look them up. Now, these are just example guys. This is not investing tips for you to go buy a bunch of Ford, but it is a great example for you to understand what I'm getting to, and that's dollar cost averaging. If you're a day trader or you're an inside trader, whatever the case may be, this is not for you. This is for the average person who's trying to accumulate a certain amount of stocks in their portfolio. And this is another thing. Certain people have like, oh, I'm going to invest inside of GM and Ford. That could be a portfolio of cars, or you can do social media stocks like Instagram, Google, Facebook, dollar cost averaging with those as well. It just depends on what you do. You can do it all sorts of way. Here's another great thing, Stash, okay? And once again, I have Robinhood and Stash linked just below. So this is another thing. With Stash, you actually allocate money in each one of your portfolios. And if you know nothing about Stash, just go over to Stash Invest com and check them out because they have great portfolios that their investors actually put together and every month it's kind of like dollar cost averaging in the sense where every month you can allocate money to that particular portfolio like and this is nothing it doesn't have to be the whole amount of that stock because stash actually you investing into fragments and fractions of that stock until you actually accumulate one whole stock Take for instance, if a stock is $46, okay, and you only allocate $10 a month. Well, in five months, you will have enough to see one stock. Up until that point, when you're going to stash, you'll see dot eight, nine, six, until you'll see one dot. That's basically saying you have one share and some other fractions of a share 
because of the numbers. Get into it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So first and foremost, dollar cost averaging takes out the emotion of buying stocks and have you to diversify and increase your stock portfolio over the course of time without busting your bottom line, okay? This is Raw Swirl. My money makes money, and this is a perfect way in order for you to gain stocks without having your emotions tied to them. I'm out.